Uh, on this episode of Hit My Setup, we're going to be talking about your setups you submitted for tips, tricks, feedback, and much more. So if you're interested in that, then sit back, relax, and interact because the show starts right meow. Like, right meow. Meow. It's time for the original setup show dedicated to providing you with tips, tricks, and feedback to pimp out your setup. Hosted by Matt Philly with new special guests every week. Coming at you live in three, two, one. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Pin My Setup, episode number 15, recorded live on January 24th, 2015. My name is Matt Philly. You can check me out on Twitter at Matt Philly. And my name is Joey LaRocca, but you can find me on Twitter at The Rock HD or YouTube, youtube.com slash The Rock 1496. There you go. And uh, what about you want to say your Twitch or anything like oh, that? Yeah, uh, Twitch.tv slash Tayrock HD. <laughs> a lot of different variations. All those links will be down in the yeah, it's, description. It's pretty brutal. Uh, it's it's all good, though. He makes really good content. So check him out. Uh, how, how do I know you? I don't, are we like five minutes away from each other right now? Dude, I'm pretty sure like if you gave me a solid five minutes, I can just run to your house. Yeah. <laughs> like and it's there's snow on the ground and everything. And he could still run over here. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, guys, a lot of crazy stuff happening in the world of setups right now as far as what I'm doing and things like that. So quick announcement, just because a lot of people have been asking me, um, the FastPass queue has been attacked. And by that, I mean so many people have purchased a FastPass that I had to double the price to $20 and people kept buying them. So then I put it to $25 and I, I think we're good now. I think that's uh, so much money that people aren't willing to pay which is good. That's why I'm keeping it at 25 right now until I could actually clear that queue. So the next episode or two may be only fast pass setups so that I could clear that out and then I'll, I'll put it to a different price only because uh, it's insane. I can't I can't keep up with it. It's it's a lot. Um, the other big announcement for you guys to check out is a brand new thing that I'm doing called setup addicts, not like the attic up there, but like an attic, like a drug attic, you know, so setupaddicts.com <laughs> should bring you over to the Facebook group, or you can just go to facebook.com slash group slash setup addicts. We're going to be posting things like, Hey, here's my setup. What could I do for this? Hey, um, you know, here's my, uh, here's my dog. What do you no, don't post your dog on there. Uh, but you can actually my dog. Pin my dog. You can post a lot of different things. We're gonna talk. I'll be on there. It's gonna be a fun community. I'll talk more about that once it develops, but you can check it out. I request uh invites and stuff like that. So go on over to that. Um but before we get to show on the road, one quick little thing I want to mention is uh, I want to thank my friends over at ninjality.com. They are responsible for making the pin my setup.com slash Q. Check it out. Like I said, ninjality.com. They can hook you up with some graphic design, branding, social branding, web development, web design, and WordPress themes, and also a lot more. They are responsible, again, for pinmysetup.com slash Q, and I should be working with them to get some new uh, additions, like updating your setup and things like that in the future. So, again, give them thanks for hooking us up with the pinmysetup.com Q. It's very fancy. So check that out. Ninjality.com. Their link will be in the description as well. Here we go. Want to talk setups, man? Let's talk some setups. I'm and, ready. Uh, I just like put like seven people to sleep. I'm sorry. I apologize. But we're going to talk setups right now. So it's okay. So the first setup submitted by Matt Fair. Matt says, uh, well, actually, he said a lot, and I, I can't really read too well. I never really did good in school. So if you actually want to read this, you can go on over to pinmysetup.com, uh, pinmysetup.com, pinmysetup.com slash Q. And you could actually read the full description, including his specs and things like that. Um, but he basically, he, he said, I got the idea for LEDs before watching the show. Okay. I, I never claimed to make LEDs a thing. So don't worry. They've been around for a long time and uh, they look amazing here. I, I would say uh, they do look very well. Um, he is 18. So that's that's pretty cool. He's, just, he's, you know, he's my age. Are you 19? I got you. Yet? No, I'm 18. I just 18. turned 18. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, you're the baby. So, all right, that's good. So we're all 18. So we could all be best friends. All best friends. All best friends. So, yeah. taking a look here, what are what are your initial thoughts on this setup? Uh, I think it's very clean. I think it's very well managed. I mean, when it comes to wires, you have four monitors, and you made it seem like there are literally no wires, and that is just absolutely amazing to me. Um, how somebody can actually pull that off. Yeah. And I really like the, the blue, the LEDs. Yeah, they, like they look, the, I don't know if it's because of the picture or they just look that nice. Like, yeah, it's a very, I, it's weird because it's a green wall. 
Yeah, it is. It is a little weird because it's a green wall, but I like how it's almost the exact blue of how the, like the monitors have the blue as well. Yeah, does that make sense? Like, yeah, yeah, it looks really nice. Um, a big like jaw dropper here is the fact that his wire management. I mean, well, first off, let's just point out his his vacuuming skills are on point compared to other oh, people that have submitted. Insane. <laughs> the very nice carpet. Really appreciate that. That should be the new things. category. Yeah. His vacuuming skills. Yeah, because no, some people really need to work on that. Um, so, yeah, taking a look at this. Yeah. Glass desk, wire management on points, kind of. Except for like the right side. Yeah, the little, right side could be tucked in a little more. Yeah, not. I mean, it's it's uh, compared to everything else. I know I'm gonna get hate comments like, "Oh my god, dude, his wires are perfect. Leave him alone." But when you have such a good setup, we have to actually critique the smallest mm. things. So I think your wire management is absolutely awesome. But you know, getting away from the desk a little, there's a lot that can be done in terms of. What's on your wall? Uh, you know, that poster, it's very small and odd and doesn't really fit. So I would say get a big ass poster or something or just something that you would frame. And uh, I know the walls, uh, you probably have no control, but uh, the blue and the green, it just blah. And I don't know, the plaques are nice, but I don't know. I think it could be utilized in a different way. Um, I, I, what are your thoughts on everything? Oh, actually, here's, here's a question. The snowball. See how it's on the arm? Yes. What are your thoughts on that? Because it doesn't look like it really would reach perfectly. It's like so far away. Um, I do think that when it comes to the snowball, it doesn't matter that the microphone has to be in front of your face. It catches everything around you. Yeah. So having it off to the side a little bit could even be better for the pure fact of if you're playing a game on one of the three monitors and you don't want that snowball right in front of your face. So it's off to the side, but it's still on that arm so you can get it out of your way if you want it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying with that much? Like it's it's a convenience thing. And I do think that is a little overstretched, but at the same time, he didn't want to clamp it to the glass. Well, yeah, because I don't think there is a, a grip for him to to do it on there. Which that's another thing about this desk that really makes it easy for him to do wire management. If you go to the site, you could see more in-depth photos. He posted like 800 different photos. Um, it's because he has these little wood pieces Paddles, yeah. yeah so he's got the one underneath the main display which is where he does all his his secret work and he makes it hidden and such but the the point of it is that um you know i don't i don't think i personally like the snowball the way it is but it does work for his mm -hmm. his setup um although it is condenser and it's it's not like a dynamic that's only you know directional it's going to be able to pick everything up like you said but it's also so far off to the one side that it's yeah. like coming in from that it's only coming in one channel quote unquote obviously it's not going to sound like that it looks really protruding yeah it looks uncomfortable to just sit there yeah. and like have that thing like in your armpit but mm -hmm. hey i mean if he likes it he likes it uh but <laughs> i yeah and the other pc is on straight on the carpet unless there is a wood board mm -hmm. underneath it, it we can't tell but that that makes me cringe if it's just on a carpet yeah so i would think about that um but i, I don't know like personality wise it's there but it's not done properly which i know again it's up to him if he thinks it's there then it's there um yeah. but, but my personal thoughts behind it is like looking at it you could rearrange it to to be like oh whoa he's into this he's into that but i don't know see pers personally i think that it I like the way that everything's put on the walls, except for the poster. I think that if you just threw a frame on it, even then it would look so much better, like infinite times better. It doesn't Probably. have to be like this big giant poster. But even with the plaques, like he could have just thrown the plaques up there and made it seem like, oh, it's just random. Yeah. But he, like he's obviously taking pride in these plaques and he has like a nice almost like V cut to it. Like it yeah. comes in and it, he did put some thought when it came to hanging up the plaques. And I, I do think that is a very good idea. Yeah, I would also just say um, maybe make sure a little more level. I, that's something yeah. I have to learn. I have to still get a leveler. Yeah, le leveling's fun. <laughs> yeah, because uh, it, it, it looks, uh, yeah, it's like tilted and stuff. Uh, but someone actually brought up a good point with uh, if you if you wanted to move the snowball and still use that arm, you could put it in uh, behind the monitor and kind of have it, have it like That's what out. I was thinking. Yeah. I was, I was going to say something along the lines of that, except with that mic arm, I'm pretty sure I have the same exact one on uh, you do you as well. Yeah. It doesn't work that well if it's like straight forward, like if both pieces are like, yeah. like perfectly 180 degrees. So being able for it to poke out underneath the monitors, I don't know how that would work out. 
Yeah, and if you put it in, in between the, the TV display and the middle display, it, it could it's like a white ball just like chilling there. It's a little yeah, weird. Yeah, it would be even more protruding than it on the side like that. Yeah. Overall, I mean, there's a lot you could do to this setup, and I think that your your actual desk, monitor, PC, everything set up in that sense is perfect. Mm. It's just the surrounding area that needs a little bit of love, but you got an amazing score, which we'll go over at the end. Um, do you want to go on to the next setup? Let's go. All right. So the next setup is submitted by James, and let me pull us up here. James basically said, hi, I'm 12. It's my personal PC, and he said, yeah, the monitors are small. I want to upgrade them. Um, but, yeah, so let's see. He's 12 years old. Let's keep that in mind. Awesome setup for 12. Yes. I mean, I, he's, got, he's got a GT Omega. Dude, I when I was 12, I had a laptop. And that was it. Old <laughs> laptop. It's, you know what it is? Like, this is a, another example of personality. Like, mm. he, he really put a lot of personal touches to it the the, the creeper the, the all the different little uh things uh, on the wall. Lot, the uh the, the yeah. enderman and all that stuff and at the at the top of what i would assume is like a wood frame maybe connecting to a bunk bed or, I, or something i would thought that was a bunk bed and i condone you for that like like you could take points off for that but you took what you had and made the most of it i think that's like the number one thing you can do with the setup yeah i i honestly think that Making use of what you had, like you said, done perfectly here. Because that's actually his username with fancy little letters on the, the wood frame at the top. Cool JWR100, oh, okay. I believe. So that's awesome. That is that is really, really cool. I really like that. I need that. to get me some of those letters. Yeah. And here's the craziest part. Before watching the show, like keep in mind, he's 12. This was his wire management behind his PC. It, it was just insane. And, it, you know... It, if that is carpet, that's you know also not a good, uh, not a good place to have it. But you could put it on a wood board, whatever. So look at that; that's insane. And then after watching the show and buying LEDs and and getting everything set up, that is his underneath part of his desk now. He he said, "Oh, it still needs some work." I'm like, dude, you're he's good. Tw he's 12 years old and he pulled that off. Yeah, that's that's insane. Yeah. I can't even do that right now. I that. Huge major props, James. Absolutely insane. Uh, I, I love everything you have going on here. Once you upgrade the monitors and stuff, that'll be great. Mm. But your biggest point now is just stress to your parents over time because you're 12 that you want to get, you know, maybe a, a bigger space for this because you, you yeah. are so into it. Uh, I love how you, you basically just like ghetto rigged the, the microphone. You just it's like I, I find it insane that the microphone is literally attached to the bottom of the bunk bed. Yeah, it, it's so creative, and I, I really just give you huge props for everything you did. Taking it to the next level is such a big deal. People three times your age can't even do that. So awesome job. I am a big fan of your wiring management and your 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 pride that you take in this setup. It's it's amazing. I need to know if you do consultation with wire management, uh, cool JWR, because <laughs> you need to teach me this. Yeah, it's, ah, oh man, I, I am just, good job, sir. You are a badass by far. I mean, there's not really much else to, to add to this. I mean, with the space you have, you nailed it. With what you have, you nailed it, and that's what matters. So you just literally just went insane on your, your, your setup it, it's insane so matt uh, yeah your camera's peeking out of the overlay i saw that i saw that and i you know right. we're, this is a uh, tv magic you're supposed to you know not say anything and like oh no no that, that's not there that's not there yeah it's never it's not like i'm fixing it it's not like it's gone all of a no, sudden it's gone yeah it's so anyways <clears throat> uh we're good we're good we're good so yeah we're good cool jwr 100 check them out on twitter there awesome awesome job but we're going to move on to the next setup. This one is submitted by Marius, Marius, one of the two. I think it's, I think it's Marius. Or Tenno Designs, I believe. Um, check that out. So this setup right here, let's see. I don't think he said his age. No, uh, he did not, which I, I like when people say their age because yeah. it shows it that it doesn't It gives you perspective. Matter. Yeah, like he was 12 and his wire management was on point. So... We don't know this person's age, uh, but basically, you if you want to see a little more in-depth photos uh, like this one and other ones, you could go onto the queue. But this is his wire management. Very interesting. 
I, I like the attempts and, and stuff. Uh, I think really it's it's nailed. It's just a little weird with the power strip. Yeah. Uh, that's the only part that makes me think like, oh, that's a little weird. Um, but the rest, it's like, wow, that's that's pretty good. I, other than the, uh, I believe the the Wacom tablet cable mm. that's plugged into the PC and uh, just the one coming out of the right monitor that could just with one Velcro strap just be tucked in a little tighter. I think mm. that it's like, Especially for an open back desk, very nice. Yeah, open back desks, 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 <laughs> desks are hard to deal with for the fact of you have to tuck each wire into such a like a little spot. It's it's so difficult to deal with, and yeah. I have I'm looking to get a desk like this, and that's the only quarrel that I have with it is the fact of wires will be everywhere, and you have found a way to hide those wires. Yeah, and. You know, taking a look at um, the, the headphones, very interesting way to do it. I don't know if I would highly recommend it for super duper expensive ones because I don't know if they don't bend properly. I don't know. Mm. For, for certain headphones, they probably slide right on. But some of them, if you have to like kind of extend it out to put it on there, maybe not the best. But I think it's it's for him, it seems to be working perfect. Uh, one thing I don't understand is the uh, I believe the Rocat ro- whatever mouse the Rocat yeah the Rocat I see I'm not into that stuff it just chill in there under the monitor it, it kind of kills the illusion that you have it up on a on a, a nice dual arm yeah I would you know I would not do that but he, all right here here's a question for you what are your thoughts on the emptiness of the walls see sometimes simplicity is the best theme i guess you can say yeah i mean it'd be nice to have a poster up i mean you have a rock cat mouse i'm assuming you're into gaming computer gaming so get like a league of legends poster get a counter-strike poster put it up there frame and make it look nice and that could add a lot of personality to a setup yeah. just small things like that yeah i because i think that with him unless he had like leds like blue leds mm. um i think he does need to add like a little bit more because i i see different things that make me believe He's a gamer, but I also want you to sort of be like, hey, I am a gamer. You know, like I don't want it yeah. to be like a little like, uh, is he a gamer? Is he not? So just give it a little bit more life, but do it in the way that you want, whether it be shelving uh, units that show off different accessory boxes or different, you know, game characters that you love, or is it a poster or whatever it is? I think that if you just, you know, put some more personality into it, you can really take it to the next level. Sometimes, um, sometimes boxes could even like improve a setup, like like empty boxes. Like for example, with your setup, you have all of your Mac boxes and everything yeah. Apple related. It shows, hey, I like Apple products. It's a theme. If yeah. you have like the box for your keyboard, the box for your headset, the box, put it up on a shelf. Show it, like, hey, this is what I have. This is what I'm into. Like these are like this is the equipment I'm using, and it could bring a lot of life to the setup. Oh, for sure, and I I, I definitely agree with that. That's that's a good. Good tip there. Good, good job. I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so overall, I think that it's a, it's an awesome setup. Just a little bit more life, um, and it'll be perfect. And your wire management's on point, and uh, it's it's awesome. So now the next setup is submitted by. There's a lot of younger people here today, but this setup is submitted by Joseph, and he is 13 years old. And he said, "Hey, you know, honestly, I don't have the best wire management, uh, but it's because of his desk." And I say, "Bull." Because it is not because of your desk. It's because of you. And I sound like such a douche. And I, I know. Yeah, it's all your fault. <laughs> Everything about it's him. you. God damn it. No, um, honestly, it, it's. All right. First off, let's let's pretend wires don't exist, right? It's sick. I like this. Setup. Yeah. It is really, really nice. Um, now, all the things you have on the floor, which I would assume I can't zoom in. I would assume that's your router, maybe backup, stuff like that. Router, modem. Uh, yeah, I, maybe not the best spot. Maybe something else you could do about that. Uh, and that's going to be a big problem as far as wires, but let's pretend they don't exist. I really like the way the games are stored here. I think it's very unique. And the lighting and everything, it just seems very clean. Trying to pull off a two tier setup is very hard. Oh, like, yeah. it's, I don't know what it is about it, but this setup right now, it just it looks so nice to me with the two tiers and i have that same exact same vizio tv and it is so hard to deal with that thing so yeah. i commend you for finding a way to make it look nice and i also like the fact that he used the lamp to backlight that monitor yep. and it it just the ambient lighting is real exactly and ambient lighting sometimes not even leds just lighting in general could yep. improve a setup tenfold oh, and yeah. i i also like the fact that you have your boxes up on a shelf 
Yeah. If you look, there's the iPhone, the iPad, and things like that. It's just little things that show, like, oh, this is what I have. But it's so subtle that it's nice. Yeah, and you know, looking at it, it it's just. Like you said, it just really is nice. And I think here, simplicity is definitely key. Like, mm. you know, the shelf, the way that it's just white and it's just like, oh, it, it just looks so good. Yeah. Um, you can add posters, but this is one that I would say, you know what? No, keep, keep it. it clean. And uh, you can tell they're, they're probably in a basement because of the, the big pole, which. Yeah, it looks it, like foundation pole. Yeah. So I think taking a look at that, it's like, wow, I didn't even notice the pole at first. So that's that's a really good job because uh, that definitely makes it harder if you ever want to expand but mm. i think your main issue is wires and i know everyone's like oh my god console peasants come on guys come on i love pc consoles. master race <sighs> okay hey man you have a console too so huh. Shh, don't tell yeah, me yeah yeah uh, so honestly the wires what can you do well, you could utilize the the legs of your desk, which I see it looks if I could zoom in, I can't really zoom in. Um, I'm assuming that the left leg, left back leg, <laughs> part time pole dancer. Yep, Ali, that is a great one. Um, I think it, you try to use the leg in some way, but you have to get it. So, OK, I, I hate doing stuff like this, but I guess I'm going to sort of show you. You just want to. This is my headphone cable. You want to grab it nice and tight. I know it's. Yeah, grab yeah, it nice and tight. Yeah, nice and tight. Get Real it so tight. it's like a nice cable. Nice. It looks, it's like a million cables, but it looks like one. And then you slap on a Velcro strap. So just doing that and not even like putting the cables hidden will take your setup to the next level. So I think that's all you should worry about right now. If you don't want to go crazy with mounting it to underneath your desk or along the legs or anything, just at least get Velcro straps and make it one nice wire and you'll be all set. Do you know what would work really well with this desk? What? The K blocks. Uh, put it right on the bottom, like yep. a nice black one, and run them right through there. It, it, nice most of your one. wires are <laughs> <laughs> most of your wires are black. So if you just attach it to that K blocks and run it down the legs, that would yeah. look insane. Oh yeah, I, K blocks. Hey man, great idea there because I it, like you said it w it could really make a big difference. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think that that's really all you need to worry about. Your setup is freaking on point. All these setups so far have been actually really really nice. So. Good job, guys. But now, here comes, I think, one of my favorites ever. Yes, yes. 110% my Mr. favorite Joe, setup I've ever seen. He has just a nice setup. <laughs> just a very nice setup. And let me explain why, because I know there are going to be people that say, but what about this? <laughs> Suck it. This is what <laughs> I think. <laughs> Look at everything going on here. You know, custom built PC with the GT Omega racing chair with two 24 inch displays centered with a 27 inch display. He's got all the different things he needs in terms of uh, peripherals and things. Just amazing. But the best part is that it is accented with everything he loves. This yes. screams personality. Everything he loves is showcased. And yeah, he needs a curtain for the windows and it looks like an empty rod or maybe it's on the other side. I don't know. And yeah, you know, the desk isn't freaking, you know, brand new. It looks a little ancient. And yeah, there's a wire to just go. That's around. all personality though. That yeah. that desk. That shows it like he's it. had that desk and he's making he a hundred and ten percent made the most of what he has and he just executed it perfectly. Yeah. This thing is in sane and yeah really the only thing that i kind of cringe at is that there is no curtain yeah um i i hope it's just on the other side but i would I, even for the photo i would have you know pulled it over um but yeah even someone said wow that must be hard to play with during the day so yeah i think you know the curtain a black curtain whatever would look insane and yeah you know the desk does look like something in my grandma's house but it you know my grandma's a badass, so I don't know. But, I mean, it, it's just, God, it's just a nice setup. And I think I like it because there's some pop vinyl figures, too. I, is. I absolutely love everything about the setup when it comes to personality because he, it shows he loves Star Wars. He has the three Star Wars backgrounds, like off of the, like, just everything about the backgrounds. I feel like the backgrounds make the desk for me. I don't know what, what it is about the backgrounds, but maybe it's because there's such a big monitor and then two sides, separate monitors, and they all have like a, like a matching theme, but they're yeah. not all the same wallpaper. Mm -hmm. I also like the fact that you have like a Harley Quinn picture in the left. You have Batman. It shows, it shows that you can be neat 
while still having a lot of personality oh, yeah. to your setup. God, it is so nice. Everything. Like, yeah. you know, oh, it, it is just, I think this is the perfect exa- example of what you need to do. And out of sight, out of mind does not mean put everything away. It means just have mm-hmm. what you need and what is needed to showcase personality and, and whatnot. Everything just seems to be so flawless. I love the, the blue wall and then the other wall is white. Just really, really nice. So overall, I don't even think we should talk anymore about it. I think it just speaks a million words. The only thing that I want to say Uh-oh. is I absolutely love um, open PCs when you can see all of the components inside of them. Mm-hmm. And it, it improves the airflow of the PCs. And it's just when you have such an awesome build, you want to show it off. So I think that's an awesome thing as well as having the glass siding. Yeah. And, and the last thing <clears throat> to wrap up on this, Cookie Done. Good friend of mine. Love that love that guy. Just kidding. No, that was weird. Um <laughs> he basically asked if that if that PC was sitting on a pop-up table, which it it looks like a very mm, weird table, kind of like yeah, like a pop-up yeah. table like you put snacks on at a party kind a of snack thing. snack tray or yeah, something. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know what the I mean, I would assume if it was, it would have snapped in half already. But it matches the desk. Yeah. It's old and weird. And it matches. <laughs> but yeah, all right. Let's move on to the next setup. The next setup is submitted by Aaron and Aaron. Uh, yeah, so we're going to do this one. There's not too much to say, so we'll keep it kind of quick. Uh, yep. But basically, Aaron is 14 and uh, he said, I didn't make the smartest decision to get this computer because it doesn't fit my needs, but I plan on getting a new computer and setup soon. But for now, I would like your opinions on my setup at the moment. So taking a look here, it just, I think it's as simple as this, especially since that is an all in one wires don't really seem to be an issue for you because your wires are just there. Um, it's just clean everything up. Like just clean it up, take a bomb, roll it under the desk, let it do, let it do its job. Um, yeah, I think that's really, especially if you're going to be changing everything, clean everything up and start fresh and then watch the show, go through the setups and get ideas. I don't really think there's too much to say. Honestly, things like cubbies or like drawers that could help immensely. Throw your controllers in there when you're not using them. Hang the poster up. Little things like that. Get rid of the uh, Tostitos queso that's by the TV. <laughs> little things like that. Yeah, and I think the one, the, the last thing I'll say here is the left side where it kind of goes into a little little thing. Um, you could put up like, you could really make that really sick. Honestly, you mm. could use that for all shelving units. Bottom top shelving units out the ass just throw everything in there and then you have your actual setup on that that countertop um but i think that's yeah this space has a lot of potential so i really want to see the setup again when it's all done oh yeah like when he's done remaking it oh without a doubt it has so much potential and that's why i'm not even gonna waste my time and that sounds douchey but i'm not gonna like waste my time giving him critiques and stuff when he's just gonna change it all anyway so i'm excited watch the show watch the setups before this freaking awesome you could learn a lot from that so thank you for submitting a setup but now we're gonna move on to we have two more setups to go this one is submitted by zach and zach is 15 years old and uh i know it's kind of a dark photo in a way kind of but this is all he could do um and underneath the desk you could see what the wire management is like um yeah so all right let, let, let's just do it let's break it up like this what are your thoughts on the boxes at the top in this setup in particular i love them i personally absolutely love them they they have a, some sort of a curve curvature to them or a curve design that it, it he's trying to showcase the boxes he's not just they're not just there for storage, storage yeah. uh, i absolutely love that i absolutely love the fact that you have a glorious pc master race wallpaper uh <laughs> i'm on that subreddit an awful lot and i just think that's very funny that you have a bunch of console peasants uh worshiping a pc master race uh, god um i like the keyboard um i like how it's led and it matches the underneath the of the computer i don't like how cramped it is it seems like it's very like uh squished yeah so <clears throat> here's my thoughts honestly um it, it's very hard when you decide to get a hutch for your setup because your hutch will make it hard to do things like get big monitors or you know use that side of your desk for anything really useful um so i 
I I could have gotten the hutch for for my desk, but it could only fit like twenty inch monitors. Which <laughs> no, thank you. Um, and bless you, even though you muted. <laughs> hey, I was smart. No, yeah, but I just wanted to say bless you because I'm a nice person. Thank so you. bless you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think the boxes they, they look good, but at the same time, I don't know if I am a fan of the hutch. Unless you add like some ambient lighting behind, uh, well, underneath mm. the shelving, and like I don't know, it, like you said, it just feels very cramped. Um, but but don't get me wrong, the way he did the boxes, like you said, with putting like sort of like the, the the curve to it, very nice. I do like how neat the the actual hutches itself. Mm. A lot of people have hutches and they're disgusting. Um, and your monitors do fit just perfectly underneath enough to put your headphones on top. Um, and if you were to put LEDs behind, I think, I think with the way you have it set up, it would be perfect. But if you ever look to expand or change things, it's kind of like, ah, that's hard. But, um, I think if you keep it the way it is and add some lights, it could be like top tier, Mm -hmm. definitely top tier. But what do you think about underneath the desk? Uh, I can't really see it too well underneath the desk. Well, the the next next photo, (laughs) I mean, (laughs) I, I was looking at the main photo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I like it. I He's got a wood board. Like the wood board, it's 110% better. Uh, I think it's a sub, a subwoofer. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like subs when it comes to like cars, but I feel like whenever it comes to a setup, unless you're watching movies or things like that and you have a surround sound system, I don't find subs to be all that viable. Mm-hmm. And even with that sub, you can probably put it inside one of the cupboards on the hutch and have Holy it run shit. down. <laughs> and so like whenever you want to use it, you open it up. And now you have your sub there. But if you don't want to use it, off the wall. No, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like that big of a sub. Yeah, it looks pretty small actually. Yeah, um, but the, the wire management is pretty solid. He uses the Velcro straps. It, they ones, look like it's too. color coded. Yeah. yeah, I I don't. They're not. I don't think they're u- unusefully color coded. If that makes sense, I think they actually mean something. But obviously, we don't know that unless he said something when he submitted it. But other mm-hmm. than that, I think everything's tucked away nicely. Yeah, he definitely handled it nicely um the velcro is kind of make me cringe because he could have he could have done mm. he could have did it a little bit better you know uh really guys you just got to make it tight i know it sounds weird make it tight and then wrap that velcro obviously don't do it so tight where you're gonna mess the wire up but it just kind of looks a little loose and uh i don't know the one random cable next to the sub and to the uh, pc just kind of looks awkwardly managed and laying there um but you did have everything tucked nicely behind so i give you props there um i'm yeah. just i'm just curious as to why he didn't tuck it behind the desk yeah when you I, have a desk like that there's so much potential for like hiding yeah i'm i'm not sure exactly what the what the story is behind that but um what i'm gonna do right now is find this email because uh, this specific person sent like a lot so i need to find his description for the next setup here we go. I found it. Here we go. We're good. Okay. So this next setup and the final setup of the show is submitted by I'm a vigilante. And uh, basically, I don't know how to say his actual name. I apologize. But he is all the way from Singapore. And he is 22 years old. Wow. And uh, he basically talks about how his furniture is from Ikea. And he really cares about cable management. He hates having a messy and cluttered tabletop. And uh, he actually has a cable management tray right under the table, which he uses to route all the cables, which we will talk about in a second. Um, And let me just say, I think this is another one of my favorite setups ever appear on Pit My Setup. I mean, yes. (laughs) Yes, yes, yes. Did I say yes? Because I'm saying it again. And and look, the other angle, look inside of that PC. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely this, gorgeous. This is the, the the prime example of an amazing setup in a, con- uh, blah, blah, a condensed space. Wow. I mean, and he's using uh, like a coat hanger for his headphones, which I used to do. And I think it looks awesome. Then he's got a hook underneath that. And what is that box that all the wires are leading into? The you see it under the headphones. The headphone light yeah. wires. Yeah, what is that? It's a cable box. I've never heard of that. Yeah, cable management box. They sell them at uh Home Depot, IKEA. Yeah. Uh I would think they sell them at IKEA. I've I i have not been to IKEA in forever, but it's really nice. It looks really, yeah. Fits it well. A lot of people put them underneath the desks as well. Um and I love that he's got the shelf above the monitors with little plastic storage bins with cables individually wrapped beautifully. And I they're love just, that. They're just there, and it, you don't even care that they're there. 
it, it's so perfectly put together and it doesn't look like they're just thrown there they're wrapped up nice they're neat and everything looks like it has a place yeah and i love that desk it just for yeah. this setup it just screams simplicity cleanliness matched with that that contrasting black on top of the powerful badass red thrown all around the setup another thing that i absolutely love is if you look at the wallpaper and then look at his pc it matches Same that red. red and blue theme yeah 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 i i absolutely love that i love how the when it comes to the actual accessories like the actual monitors desks etc it's black and white yeah. It's simple, it's nice. And then when it comes to like the wallpaper and the PC, it's that reddish blue. It just it looks insane. Yeah, and I oh god, I love that he's even got, you know, with uh he's got the drawers underneath the desk if you look under the PC. Uh right. he's using wired peripherals and you don't even care that they're wired because the wire is the all you see is the wire from the keyboard and from the mouse and that's it. It looks like it just fades away into the darkness. It's it's amazing. So like I said, someone's asking how old he is. Like I said, he's 22 years old, all the way from Singapore. Absolutely freaking literally amazing. This setup is baller. I I love it. I I don't even know what else he would do. I mean, oh, I, I believe he's in the chat. He's in the chat. I think I could be wrong. Oh yes, that, that is him. Faisal or? Yep, that is him. Um I I mean one thing you could do is, you know, if if you were to keep it like this for a long time, you get one monitor arm for both. Um, but that's not even a big deal. I think the way you have it set up is yeah, perfect. Even even with the two, I just feel like it would be so it's so nice how it is now. I wouldn't want to touch it. Yeah, I, <laughs> you know I think I mean? uh, one thing I don't know if he does have LEDs. I, I kind of would assume, mm -hmm. but he I think he would also show it off. Like just you know, you know, RGB. Uh, LEDs yeah. for behind if he wants to do the blue or the red. I think red would obviously look better, but that's up to him. Um, and I think that's really it. I mean, you know, it look nice the more. like red LEDs on like the backs of the computers and then blue on the bottom. Yeah. Oh my god! Like right on because the, the desk is yeah. so clean underneath. You could do that. Mm -hmm. Man, that is whew, that is a nice setup. Oh, wow. So yeah, great job. Let's do the fun part of the show where we give scores so he can know how he did and everyone else. So here we go. Starting off with the first setup. The score for Matt was an 83, followed by James with a 63, followed by, and I, I feel bad because, like I said, it was absolutely amazing, James's setup. I, I went off on it, but there yeah. are, you know, different, you know, just because he's uh, 12 doesn't mean he's going to get treated differently and he knows that so thank you james for watching i really do appreciate that um <clears throat> marius marius however you say your name i apologize got a 69 the magical number <laughs> follow yep followed by joseph with a 63 joe got a 89 aaron a got a 40 score. yeah that, oh my god i love this setup zach got a 56 and i'm a vigilante i don't know how you say your first name um Got a 85, which means our winners for this show, Joe and I'm a vigilante, both sick, amazing, awesome setups. Guys, this show has been full of, this episode in particular Just has been full of amazing, 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 amazing setups, setups, amazing wire management, personality out the ass. It's just such a, uh, this episode makes me happy on the inside that people submit setups that look like this. I am just blown away by it absolutely amazing setups uh on this episode like i said and uh i think that i think that does it for this episode so a few little things to remind you guys about if you want to join setup addicts go to setup addicts.com or facebook.com slash group slash setup addicts and if you want to get yourself a fast pass wait until the price goes down or if you're you know really eager to get in the next episode well actually the next two episodes and you want to go over and buy it right now perks.pinmysetup.com but you can wait it will go down in price and uh, I do appreciate everyone that has purchased one or anything like that. It helps me so much. I, I have so, so many awesome things to tell you guys about. But yeah, this has been absolutely amazing. Joey, you did a, you did a kick-ass job. I was surprised. Thanks, man. I didn't expect wow. you to do too good. I thought... Really appreciate you, that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Seriously, though, guys, follow Joey, obviously, The Rock HD on Twitter. Tweet with you. He, he, all right. I ask everyone this. I don't know if you ever saw the end of an episode. What's one of your biggest fears? Just because we just would like to know about a lot more about our, our hosts. Oh, man. I have two really, really weird, like, irrational fears. Okay. 
Uh, one of them is my belly button unraveling. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know why. Because okay. my girlfriend brought it up one day because her friend has that fear. And it sits in the back of my head, like, thinking, like, that would suck. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's possible, but whoa. there's that. <laughs> what what else do you have? <laughs> and heights. Heights. Okay, so guys. But I love roller coasters, so. Okay, well that's weird. Um, so here's what you guys have to do if you're if you got this far in the episode or you're watching live, tweet at the Rock HD, belly buttons unraveling, or something scary up high. Not just like oh my god, it's like from the top of the earth. Something that would make him shit himself. So do that. He will love it, right? You'll love absolutely. That. Yeah, my favorite. Good. Okay. Well. Guys, thanks so much for watching this episode of Pit My Setup episode number 15. We're going to live on January 24, 2015. My name is Matt Philly. You can check me out on Twitter at Matt Philly. Oh, that's my cue. That's your cue. That's oh, you can follow me on Twitter at The Rock HD and on Twitch at twitch.tv slash TayRockHD and YouTube at youtube.com slash TheRock1496. Got it. There you go. All those links will be down in the description. Guys, thank you so much for coming to this episode. I'll catch you on the Liberty Lab. That was a nice note. Thank you. That's pretty high up there. Ah, oh. You can show that. Thanks for watching this episode of Pimp My Setup. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Follow and Pimp My Setup on Twitter for the latest info about the show. And check out swashing.tv forward slash schedule to know when we'll be live again. Stay up to date with Matt Philly by following him on Twitter at Matt Philly. And until next time, we'll catch you on the flippity flop. <laughs>